Okay, so for our topic for this video, so we have the simple vapor compression refrigeration system. As I recall, refrigeration is that branch of science which deals with the process of reducing and maintaining the temperature of a space or material below the temperature of the surroundings. Take note that refrigeration is a major application area of thermodynamics. Now, yung device, devices that produce refrigeration are called refrigerators. The fluid or the, the fluid or the working substance in a refrigeration system is known as refrigerant. So, diniskas na natin nakaraan, isa-isa kung ano yung types ng refrigerants. No? And then, within this, uh, within this refrigeration cycle, the most frequently used refrigeration cycle is the Vapor compression refrigeration cycle in which no, the refrigerant is vaporized and condensed alternately and is compressed in the vapor phase. For the ideal vapor compression refrigeration cycle, no, uh, we discussed earlier the reverse Carnot cycle. So many of the impracticalities associated with the reverse Carnot cycle can be eliminated by vaporizing the refrigerant completely before it is compressed no? and by replacing the turbine with a throttling device such as an expansion valve or capillary tube. So the cycle that results in this uh, is the ideal vapor compression cycle. So it is shown uh, schematically in this figure. So we have four basic parts. We have the evaporator, compressor, condenser, and then we have the expansion bulb. So kung mapapansin nyo sa evaporator, no? Doon po, uh, evaporator, siya yung nag absorb no? Nung ating heat, no? Doon sa load na nasa yung cold refrigerated space. So bali si QA, dito siya, no? So QA is papasok dito. And then... We have the compressor, no? yung heart ng ating refrigeration cycle. So, si compressor, kailangan niya, of course, yung uh, electrical power to, to operate. So, dahil doon, magkakaroon tayo dito ng work of compressor. So, yung compressor, siya yung magkocompress no? doon sa ating refrigerant in a vapor state. And then, we have the condenser. So, condenser, siya yung mag reject ng heat, no? Punta sa ating warm environment. And lastly, we have the expansion valve. So, uh, for our study, no, gagamitin natin, ito yung pointing system natin. We have one uh, state of the refrigerant before entering the compressor. Then two, uh, state of the refrigerant. So, yung two again is the state of the refrigerant no, uh, leaving the compressor na, and also, siya yung papasok naman sa condenser. The three, palabas na condenser and then papasok sa expansion bulb and then four is pababa or palabas no, ng expansion bulb. Yung state ng refrigerant na palabas sa expansion bulb which is technically yung papasok ng ating evaporator. No? Okay. Kung siya ay ipaplot natin sa TS diagram, so again, itong kulay red na to, that is your saturation curve. Diba? So ideally, we assume that point 1 is the saturated vapor. Okay? And then, point 2 is superheated. No? Ito na yung pagkalabas ng ating refrigerant sa compressor. And then we have 0.3, so that is saturated liquid. And then 0.4 is the, what, 0.4, yan ay technically wet vapor mixture. So this is ideal process, itong 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, we have the pH diagram for the cycle. Now, yung pH, that is pressure and then enthalpy, specific enthalpy to be exact. Again, 0.1, itong ating, ano, Ito ang ating uh, saturated vapor state ng refrigerant. 
0.2 superheated, 0.3 to a saturated liquid, and 0.4, yan yung ating uh, wet vapor, no, in this case. So, kung mapapansin natin, no, dito. So, from 4 to 1, no, yung state ng ating refrigerant ay nasa, ay un under e isang pressure, ideally, no. So, that is yung pressure ng ating evaporator. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa pH diagram, ayan. No? So, 4 to 1. Isang linya lang. No? Ibig sabihin yan, constant pressure. No? And then, from 1 to 2, ito na yun, no yung state na kung saan yung refrigerant magkakaroon ng compression. Or, i-compress yung ating refrigerant. So, 1 to 2, that is isentropic, no? S is equal to C. So, ano bang nangyayari dyan? Compression takes place to raise the temperature and refrigerant pressure. So, mababa ang pressure dito. So, for, dito, dito sa part na to. And then, para tumaas siya, gawin natin is i-compress natin siya. I-compress ng refrigerant, ay, ng compressor yung ating refrigerant. No? Now, from 2 to 3, so, magkakaroon ka ng heat rejection. Ayan, no? So, that is, meron kang heat transfer, no? Siyempre, no? So, a condenser is, of course, a heat exchanger. So, yan ay isobaric process. Then, we have P is equal to C. So, dito, ayan, kung mapapansin nyo, isang linya lang yan, 2 to 3. So, yan ay pressure ng condenser. And then, we have 3 to 4, no? Contracting and expansion. So, yan ay constant enthalpy. Kaya ito ay pag ganito. Ito ay vertical line. Okay? So, as I mentioned, no? So, ito yung processes, no? Four processes involving the standard vapor compression cycle. So, the vapor compression refrigeration cycle is the most widely used cycles for refrigerators and air conditioning systems and heat pumps. So, we have number 1, 1 to 2. Ayan. So, 1 to 2, ito yun. So, isentropic, no? Compression in a compressor. So, that is S is equal to C. So, we have specific entropy at point 1 is equal to specific entropy at point 2. No? S1 is, S sub 1 is equal to S sub 2. Next, we have constant pressure heat rejection in a condenser. So, ito yun. Process 2 to 3. So, meron kang QR. O, in this case, QH kasi mataas yung temperature doon. So, yan yung din yung ating Q sub R or heat rejected. No? So, ibig sabihin, P sub 2, pressure 2, is equal to pressure 3. Equal din siya sa pressure ng condenser. Then, we have 3 to 4. We have throttling in an expansion device. So, magka-throttle tayo or magkakaroon na throttling process as well as expansion process. So, magiging H3 is equal to H4. So, obvious naman, no? At point 3, H3 is HF, no? At P3. Ito naman, balik tayo sa point 1. Yan ay saturated vapor. So, magkakaroon tayo ng H1 which is equal to Hg, H sub G, at pressure 1. Okay, then 4 to 1, constant pressure heat absorption in an evaporator. So, dito papasok yung init, or dyan magkakaroon ng heat absorbed, no, from the refrigerated space, so QA. And again, P4 is equal to P1. And by the way, no, from 1 to 2, dyan magkakaroon ng work, no, work input, which is the work of the compressor. Now, kung yan ay i-relate natin sa domestic uh, or household refrigerator, so, ito yan, yung ating diagram. So, ito yung ating typical na uh, domestic or household refrigerator. No? So, kung mapapansin nyo, so, yung tubes sa freeze, freezer compartment ito no sa taas no yan yung 
Uh, dyan sa compartment na yan, nagkakaroon ng heat absorption o Q sub A. No? Dyan natin makukuha si Q sub A na i-absorb naman ng, na ano, ng refrigerant. No? Nadadaan dun sa evaporating coil. Ayan, kita nyo sa taas. So, itong part na to, katulad ito nito, no? sa diagram na to. And then, ano mangyayari? The coils behind the refrigerator, ito, ito, ito naman, itong part na to. So, the coils behind the refrigerator, di ba, yan yung mainit, no? Yan yung magsaserve as ating condenser. So, dyan magkakaroon ng heat rejection. So, bale, pagka-absorb ng QA, ng, uh, pagka-absorb ng QA ng, uh, by the refrigerant, so, dadaan yun sa evaporator coil, yung refrigerant, yan, dadaan dito hanggang pumunta kay compressor. So, anong gagawin ulit ng compressor? Kocompress niya yung refrigerant para tumaas ang kanyang pressure and then dadaan siya sa ating condenser. Through the condenser coils, then magkakaroon ng heat rejection. And then afterwards, dadaan siya sa ating ano, capillary tube, yun yung magserve as ang ating expansion bulb or throttling bulb para mapababa natin yung pressure so that babalik no pwedeng bumalik yung ating uh, refrigerant sa evaporating coil na mas mababa ang temperature as well as mababa ang pressure so ayan no so yan po ang ating standard or ideal vapor compression cycle so again we have process 1 to 2 we have isentropic compression in a compressor. So, that is S is equal to C. Papasok yung, or magkakaroon tayo ng work ng compressor. Work input yan. Then, from 2 to 3, we have the constant pressure heat rejection in a condenser. So, dito magkakaroon ng Q sub R, no? Mare-reject yung heat. And then, from 3 to 4, magkakaroon tayo ng throttling, no? In an expansion bulb. And then, 4 to 1, dyan yung constant pressure, heat absorption in an evaporator. O, take note, no? All four components associated with the vapor compression cycle, refrigeration cycle to be exact, are steady flow devices. And thus, all four processes that make up the cycle can be analyzed as steady flow processes. So, the kinetic and potential energy changes of the refrigerant are usually small relative to the work and heat transfer terms. So, therefore, they can be neglected. So, yung susunod natin video is ano-ano uh, ba yung mga formulas involved in refrigeration cycle. So, please uh, pakinood din no, yung susunod na video. Pakilike na lang din yung video no, and then subscribe. Thank you.